Well, Anthony and I are excited to be in our victory colors That's for right. the Jaguars. And with football season in full swing, many sports fans may feel inclined to bet on their favorite teams. I know a lot who do. However, with a big win comes big responsibility. Zach Wilcox is verifying tonight the role sports betting plays on your tax forms. Sports betting in Florida is a bit of a complicated issue right now. It's technically legal, but it's not operational yet because of a lawsuit at the Florida Supreme Court. But if it does come, will gamblers have to file their sports betting winnings on their taxes? Let's verify. We can verify that yes, sports betting winnings have to be reported to the IRS. Our sources are the Internal Revenue Service Publication 525 and CPA Marshall Gunn. The IRS requires that any gambling winnings must be reported and are subject to federal income tax. According to the IRS in publication 525, gambling winnings are considered a form of income and have to be reported on form 1040B. That includes fantasy sports winnings or money won on apps, regardless of the amount. If you win more than $600 on sports betting, you'll have another form to fill out. They would issue a W-2G, uh, as in gambling, most likely, uh, if you have winnings at a professional casino. On the flip side, you are allowed to report sports gambling losses as well. You can deduct losses up to the point that you win. For example, if you win $5,000 but lose $10,000, you can deduct up to $5,000 on your taxes. You always report income because that's what the IRS is looking for, but at the same time, don't shortchange yourself and not deduct any deductions that you're also entitled to. Sports betting is still illegal in Georgia. However, if you win money illegally, you still have to report it on your taxes. Otherwise, you're breaking another law. With your Verify, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.